Could our favorite fall fruits be at risk from extreme heat? Pennsylvania farmers are having to adapt to the changing climate and the heat that comes along with it. The Commonwealth has an $81.5 billion agriculture industry that supports 301,900 jobs and $14.5 billion in labor income. With the ever-changing climate, the crops, farmers, and workers in this industry could be greatly affected. Longer periods of intense heat are making farmers adopt new methods and strategies for growing their crops. One way this is being done is that farmers are choosing to grow different varieties of crops that are more heat tolerant than others and don't require cool conditions. An example of this would be choosing to opt for a different variety of apple to grow rather than a favored Macintosh apple, a treat that is meant to be crisp and ends up being mushy because of the heat. The same thought process can be applied to other fruits such as peaches, grapes, and nectarines. If these adaptations to growing aren't made, then there could be detrimental outcomes to farmers' incomes and livelihoods. Another adaptation farmers are having to make is adjusting their planting and harvesting schedules. Crop finish times have naturally been adjusted because of the heat. This not only affects the farmers' schedules, but market schedules as well. Profits could be affected if there's not enough produce to sell. Until recently, farmers did not have to rely on irrigation techniques, but because of the extreme weather, whether it be heat or drought, implementing those techniques has been necessary to ensure a successful crop. However, irrigation may not always be the solution. So to further help mitigate some of the effects of these events, growers have had to water many of their crops by hand to make sure they survive. We are no strangers to droughts and heat, but what makes it difficult is how frequently these events are occurring and how extreme they're getting. Since 1990, the average statewide temperature has risen 2 degrees Fahrenheit. There are projections that by the middle of the century, temperatures will be around 5.9 degrees hotter. Some extreme scenarios could even call for an increase of 9 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Along with increasing temperatures, we can also expect to see an increase in the amount of days that are 90 plus degrees. Days like that with such extreme heat can kill crops and put farmers out of thousands of dollars. Taking a look at these crops from a different perspective, with reduced yields and different crops being grown, consumers may have a more difficult time obtaining their favorite fall fruits and indulging in their favorite fall treats this season. For example, apples are a hot commodity during the autumn season as they tend to be a main ingredient in many of the treats we love, some of which being apple pies, turnovers, and ciders. Fruit and vegetable production in Pennsylvania brings in approximately $358.9 million in sales each year. With fall beginning to be in full swing, will we be able to have access to our favorite produce after experiencing extreme heat? It'll be interesting to see how the summer heat truly affects our fall festivities. For Weather World, I'm student meteorologist Madison Olm.